So free agency just began. And the Grizzlies have made no moves. Well, they did let go of, of sniper game Luke. Well, not let go, but they declined his team option. But they're looking to, they're looking forward to doing another option with less money, I guess. I don't know. But we'll see because that's all that we heard from Woj was that the Grizzlies declined a team option for Luke Kennard for $14 million. But both sides are willing to renegotiate the contract. So it seems like Luke wants to uh, be in Memphis, which is good because we do need a sniper. But $14 million a year is a little bit too much for you. So, Luke, I say we bring it down to about a good 9-8. Because your, your uh, minutes did reduce in the playoffs. No. But uh, nonetheless, free agency has just begun in the NBA. And teams are uh teams are getting, you know, they're getting they're getting stronger. They're getting stronger. You know, Chris Paul went to he went to the Spurs, so he's gonna be with Wimbiana. You know, that's uh that's cool. That's cool. But uh, you know, what's even cooler is there's about to be a big five in Memphis. You know, we got, you know, the starting the starting five, the Justice League, the super team, you know, future super team. Cause uh big man and newest Grizzly, Zach Eady, stated that he did not want to go to the Olympics to play with Canada because he cares about his growth. He wants to make that great transition into the NBA and focus on his NBA career. And that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Somebody who's hungry, somebody who wants to progress because I feel like he knows and the Grizzlies know that his role is... He's going to have a role, a, a, a starting role. Well, not starting role, but a big role in Memphis. And if he's not ready, you know, it's going to be, you know, it's going to be a problem. So we need him to be an X factor. And that's exactly what he's doing. And I respect that from Zach Eady. But as far as free agency from the Grizzlies, um, let me know what you think. What you would do in free free agencies? Cause there's a lot of good free agents that are um, becoming free agents. Well, not a lot of good, but it, it, it's okay free agents. But there's also a lot of big trades. That's what I really meant to say. There's a lot of big trades like Brooke Lopez. He could be moving. Uh, who else? Lloyd Markkinen with somebody else. Clint Capella. You know, these guys, you know, the older guys, but Grizzlies fans, we have to think about this, though. What would be the price to get a Lori Marketing? What would be the price to get a Brooke Lopez? What would be the price to get? Are you willing to pay that price? You know, uh, I saw that uh, people were putting in Gigi Jackson and a couple of the trades on Twitter and whatnot. And I don't know if I would let go of Gigi for a big man. You know, and that's why I had stated in the draft class video that I would have liked to draft two bigs, but I like the way the draft went because we did fill every position of need, but it would be nice to have another big on the team. So Grizzlies fans going into this uh, free agency, I don't know if the Grizzlies are going to make a big splash trade unless they're willing to move Marcus Smart. Zaire, uh, Luke Kennard, you know, those guys, or Conchar, something like that. But I don't think the Grizzlies are going to be willing to trade Gigi Jackson. Um, and, or like, yeah, somebody like Gigi Jackson or, or Vince Williams, to be honest. You know, um, I think that they're going to want to see where those guys lead to and uh, possibly build around them. So I say that to say we need to kind of look at uh, free agents like backup uh, centers or like old centers like a Demarcus Cousins, a Dwight Howard. Well, I don't know Dwight Howard. I don't, I don't think he can play anymore. But Demarcus Cousins, um, you know, big men like that. Maybe a uh, Aaron Gordon. Nah, I, I think Aaron Gordon might be a little bit too expensive. But you know, guys like that. Maybe somebody we never even heard of. I know we got a big 
uh, Trey Jameson, who came uh, and played for us last season, who was pretty decent. Uh, maybe we can run it back with him coming off the bench uh, and also with Brandon Clark being available that, that offers us, uh, you know, more big men. But Zach Eady and Jaron will be our tallest guys for right now, and they are. You know, Jaron stands at about 6'11". Zach Eady, of course, 7'4". You know, so it just uh, it's, it's a lot of different ways and a lot of different things that we can do. Um, the Grizzlies might just run it back and – just not make no moves. Like, re-sign Luke to a cheaper deal, have some money, maybe sign some guys like Trey Jameson and, uh, yeah, and then just running back with that, with the team we got. Because we do got a good team regardless, you know, regardless if you make a move or not. I just don't want to pay a price for something that's, uh, that's just temporary, you know, and, and give – Teams, players like Vince Williams, Gigi Jackson, and, you know, the young guys, you know. So uh, I'm eager to see what the Grizzlies would do in this free agency, if they'll do anything. And really, I'm just I'm ready for summer league. I'm ready to see some Memphis basketball, some, some Grizzlies, some Tigers, everything, you know. So uh, everything heating up, and it's looking good. You know, I'm eager to see uh, what it leads to, and – what the Grizzlies ultimately would do. Man, it's all around the M. You tune in with Chris. And I'm going to see you later. Peace.